Okay, I'm going to begin with the Crafter's Companion, and the style number is CA230. Before I do that, I want to explain that all our products come in seven colors. We've got a black, navy, a bright red, a blood red, a beautiful green, olive green. We've got a purple, aqua, and a hot pink, a fuchsia. So these are the seven colors, unless we've run out of stock, but anything on the website can be purchased in these seven colors on our current products that are listed on our website. So I'm going to begin with the CA230. And firstly, I want to explain that the measurements for this is 10.8 inches by 13.3 by five inches and they are approximate dimensions. They're a good size for you to carry all your craft supplies for your classes and your retreats. And I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of extra space and you'll be surprised at how much it carries. We also have given you a nice strap that goes through the back, through the bag and onto the other side. That gives you security as far as weight in case you put your magazines, something a little heavier than you should. There is a limit to what the bags can carry, but I've been told by many crafters over 20 years that they surprised at how many sewing baskets it has replaced and also the fact that they're so durable and they seem to last forever. So that's the external and there's no external pocket in this particular bag. And I'm sure all of you know that a lot of world-class designers have done some amazing projects and embellishing on the bags with wool craft embroidery, whether it's sashiko or borrow embroidery, applique, beading, and the list is endless machine embroidery. There's so much that can be done with these bags after you've used them for a while and you want to give it a fresh look. So I'm going to start with the demonstration now. And firstly, on the cover side, we've given you two pockets here that are deep enough for you to keep fabrics or anything. And you'll see there's a lot of give in each pocket. And as you use them, you will find they just become a little more pliable, softer, and they do work extremely well. So on this side, we've given you three horizontal pockets. And that, as you can see, fits the Eleganza threads. Some Aurifolds also will fit. They'll also take some of the Valdani little cotton, uh, your crochet cottons, but you will get a little less of that. It just depends on the thickness. It wasn't meant to fit very large spools of thread, but I just offered that as an option. And any of these pockets can be filled with your craft notions. The next pocket is a full pocket where you've got your books, your magazines, and you can keep your ruler and templates. And on this side, we've got a Velcro out here. So you can throw in your magazines, trims, any of your notions. What I do is I tend to fill them up as much as possible. So it gives you a very good visual and a good idea on what exactly does fit and it helps you decide on the bag you choose. So on both ends of this pocket, this sleeve, we've got Velcro pockets. And the next sleeve, we've given you a zippered pocket so that you can fill things on both sides and the same configuration on the opposite side. And on this pocket, which is the last one for this bag, I've put some elasticated sections in here for your tools, your scissors. You might have a few markers, quilt markers, etc. Whatever you choose to, but I just try to make it as visual as possible for you to have a good sense of the bag. At the end, we've got a full pocket. As, a, as you can see, I've got a magazine out here. This fits your A4 books. And uh, you can keep some fabrics at the bottom. Sometimes people would keep my smaller bags. Uh, you might want to keep your sewing machine mat. You might want to keep one of our Yazzie iron storage bags at the bottom as well. 
there's so much that fits in here. And this is just to give you an example that this works perfectly for an A4 size product. So you've got one sleeve, two, three, and four. And in total, there are 16 pockets if I had to just add the various sizes in here. And it works brilliantly. Now, what I will highlight to you is that if ever you feel that you need more open space and you don't necessarily want the divisions, you can unpick the center piping out here in all our products that makes gives you extra room. You don't have to be stuck with what we've done. But when I designed it many, many years ago, I was going on the fact that I need to give options to everybody. I'm never going to please everybody. And there are going to be people out there who would say, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. But that's okay. The fact that we offer flexible storage bags, beautifully handcrafted in India. And I know of many people who have had this crafter's companion now for 15 years, 14 years, and they're still using it. And it looks as good as ever. So when I shut this it's this is our crafters companion and as i showed you earlier it sits over your shoulder perfectly i'm going to now put up the on the screen our insert for our quilters project bag ca880 and i'll set myself up for that demo Okay, this is our quilters companion and uh, I've got, I did tell you earlier that this has got an external pocket for your keys, your mobile phone, whatever you need to put. For me, it was more just making a point of difference so that we can manage during the packaging of these bags for your orders so there's no mistakes made at all. And the other thing I needed to mention again is this is approximately the same size given one centimeter or so difference with the Crafters Companion and the Quilters Project Bag. Again, our straps go all the way through the bag, all the way to the other side, and we've just added a pocket right on top for the point of difference. So that's the Quilters Companion, which was introduced about four to five years ago. Now I'm going to demonstrate the bag. And let's start with the cover pocket where you've got your external pocket inside cover. I gave you your little threads extra. Now, the reason why we made the difference and I designed the bag again, what quilters often said that they loved the crafter's companion, but they felt I might have dissected it a little bit more than I should have. It worked brilliantly for many years and I still have quilters who say, no, I still like that bag and that's fine. But I did in Houston once have a meeting with a few quilters and they said they'd like the bag changed slightly, that'll be appealing to more quilters. They wanted larger pockets. They did not want anything less than, if you look at the A4, A5, A4, A5, it just sort of went in that manner throughout the four sleeves as well. And uh, again, at the end, the end cover, I've given you these elasticated areas. I put a fabric pocket at the end so that you can keep a scissors and you don't tear into any of the plastics. So that was definitely a, a bag that I changed. So you've got 17 pockets in all with the external pocket outside the bag. And that works brilliantly with exactly what they wanted for their larger projects. They love the bag. So I know for every 10 quilters out there, there are seven that'll choose this bag 
hands down over the crafter's companion. But then, you know, we are not there to tell you what to do. The difference is a few dollars, but I did change it four to five years ago, this bag, and it has appealed to everyone. The westerly rulers, often people come to me and say they'd like the storage bag for westerly rulers. And this is what they are pointing to as a bag that works brilliantly to store their template. A top zipper. In here, you've got the center bus. So we'll sit down your table where often when you're going to your retreats, you have less space to work with, work area. So this is sitting in the middle and you can flip the pages like a little book, like a filing system. You can, you can get to the areas you want to. Everything is accessible to you. So I think that's the other big factor that's making a decision and swaying people to go for this bag is the way it opens. It's not from the top where you have to sort of dig into the lower pockets. I mean, it still works. It worked for as many years that it did, but uh, I wanted to make a slight difference. So I added larger pockets here. I gave you the center zipper here. The size is approximately the same. And again, on this one, you don't have to remove any of the pipings or anything because you've got everything you need in front of you. Perfect for your classes and retreats. If you are educators in the country, you're welcome to sort of look at these so that you can carry it for your teaching assignments. Uh, we've been told many years now that these are the best bags around. They're beautifully made. They're crafted so well. Keep in mind they're made on treadle machines in India. They considered handcrafted bags. And when I get testimonials day in and day out for the last 20 years of how well they've used them is all I need to go forward in my business. Thank you again, and I hope you liked the demonstration. And I look forward to seeing you for the next product. Bye for now.